I saw it screened at First Universalist, I think that was maybe nine months ago. And um, let's get going. Hi, I'm Teresa Voss. I'm from Plymouth Congregational Church, part of the Racial Justice Committee. And I'm Jeff Sarton, one of the ministers at the church. Okay, we, uh, we had the film uh, Hands up, don't shoot our youth movement here today. Could you uh, just maybe talk about the experience today and maybe some of the takeaways? Well, we previewed the film and then had a really riveting discussion afterwards. It was, um, I thought, very um, good discussion with everybody that was present. So, since we're all here together, um, and we definitely have some issues happening in our own backyard, if anybody has any uh, questions or anything like that, we can definitely open it up for discussion. I, the, the power of this film, and it's very powerful, mm -hmm. um, and I, I just think it makes, it is, it is important that these contrasts be right next to each other yes. um, to ask people to connect those dots. Yeah. Because they don't connect those dots. Mm -hmm. I know I know speaking just for myself, the power of this is to is to see these things right next to each other. The power <coughs> of what's in your film needs to be show a, it, it needs to be available to the white community. We need, as a community, yeah. we, we need that in our faces. There, there's, I, I deal with a numerous amount of people. Like, we do put in our efforts to um, change the community and things like that, um, but we can't do it on our own. And for the people who aren't, who are unconscious or are not aware of this situation or the people who are aware but they don't care to do uh, the dirty they rather go out there and march but don't really care about what's really really going on to me it was one of the most sacred experiences i've had of interracial conversation that we've had at our church and i feel really privileged that, that you were able to do that for us so as a community it's just not the black community it's just not the hispanic community it's just not the white community it's all communities. What are we going to do to stop this nonsense? We just wanted to ignore the fact. A lot of people want to just ignore the fact that there is, is all of this racism around us. Well, we can't ignore it quite as much right now. But I'm afraid it'll you know, just sort of go back into business as usual. Well, we're really learning that the whiteness, white privilege, white supremacy is a sickness uh, of the soul and that we as white people have to do our work to recognize that the culture that we're steeped in of uh, white privilege and white supremacy needs to be dismantled if we can, before we can be full human beings. So it's our, it's our spiritual work, it's a spiritual imperative to do that. For the sake of our own souls and our own relationship with God, let alone uh, then resulting from that our relationship with our brothers and sisters. We do have a lot of systemic issues that we're dealing with that are playing, playing out right now. And my thought is, is that it, it's going to take independent media to uh, tell the stories that need to be told and, um, you know, churches like yourself to host uh, film screenings and discussions and uh, doing the things that you're doing to uh, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, get to a better place individually or collectively. But, you know, um, I've said this since the first screening we had this film, it's, it's not looking too good out here. It's not looking too good out here. There are so much, as you were just saying, with mass media and everything nowadays, that everyone can just post anything that they want. They can post what they, you know, that it's flooded with opinions and everything and that when, but yet still when there's CNN and things like that that are 
all, majorly, majorly, sorry, <laughs> um, by um, white uh, people that with everything that it kind of is covering up everything that is going on, just like with all the posts for people my generation, everyone posts what they think, like everyone does. And it's hard to get out the points that are really important nowadays yeah. because things are so covered up. And that's mm. what makes me scared about my generation as a whole. I don't know if people thought Ferguson was just gonna stay in its own box and be a, a Ferguson conversation, but as you can see, this is becoming very frequent. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're live and direct right now from Minneapolis yep. in that conversation, and that's going to be um, an interesting story as that plays out too. Do you ever think this, uh, would you ever want this to be in the U.S. theaters? As a college student, I would like to see this as a um, documentary for history mm -hmm. um, on co college campuses. Mm -hmm. And also I would like to see it um, in the libraries yeah. um, as a teaching tool for uh, history. Mm -hmm. um, that, that would be something that um, we'd probably like to see. And um, where could I get a copy of this? <laughs> right now we're just trying to make this an exclusive community experience um, because I think um, these kind of settings have a lot of value in it. Uh, not necessarily to do a full commercial kind of deal with it as of right now, but I think we do have a need, a huge need to create community, uh, to create some real dialogue and discussion, but also create um, ways that we see ourselves in this movie and what we need to be doing. So that, that kind of comes with these kind of situations that we're in right now. So thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.